Kyler, just to kind of dive more into, you know, going to college and playing football in college, how many of your teammates, just when you were there, how many of your teammates went on to play college football? I, th- I think I remember you mentioning one of your teammates tried to walk on at Penn State. Um, I mean, was it common for you guys to go on to play college football? Um, I was, so in my class, my senior year, there was two of us, me and another lineman, and he played one season at Lock Haven, and he ended up just deciding not to play football anymore, wanted to focus on school and go get a job, which is respectable. Yeah. Because it's not easy. No. And, and the class ahead of me, uh, Caden Bittinger, is currently a wide receiver here, and uh, we had two other linemen go on to play at Grove City. So, I mean, when you look at how talented that class was, really, like, not many guys do go to play college football. Yeah. Typically, you have, Coach Nagel has his one to two guys every single year, and that's really it. But for him to have three-plus, that's a big class for him to send yeah. into the college football world. Um. I feel I feel like I feel like we always talk about this on the show too, where we talk about that gap difference between high school and college. And I think that kind of kind of exemplifies that notion of just that talent differential and how actually difficult it is um, to make that leap. Uh, so so if I could just a- asking a quick question, yeah. what do you think has been the big the biggest transition between uh, your experience in high school? to your experience now at, at Lock Haven playing football? Well, at first, I, you know, I was recruited here under Coach Kelling, and I ended up quitting under Coach Kelling. I hated it here. It was really hard for me. I thought coming in, I was like, you know, I'm, so I'm coming in on scholarship. Like, I'm coming in, and I'm coming to start. The kid in front of me was an absolute dude. Like, he's a freak. He transferred out to a Division One school and just absolute stud, and like, you know, I ended up weeks go by, got through camp, and I was really just not enjoying football. I couldn't understand the playbook. Like, that's the biggest jump, in my opinion, is the playbook. Because, you know, you're in high school and you play, you know, your three big coverages. You're playing cover one, cover two, cover three. Then you go to college and it's like you've got anywhere from, like, three to six different coverages you're in. And what and so many different pressures – so many different stunts up front, so many different fronts. So I'd say definitely the playbook is a lot more broad. And when it comes to having a broad playbook, there's also high expectations because you're playing at this level. And it's grown men football. Like, you don't realize how physical college football is until you truly play a full game. And it's hard to walk the day after. In high school, I can, you know, you get up the next morning. But when it comes to playing college football, it's tough to get up the next day. See everybody, and and that's coming from from a young guy, and you're talking to, to to Mark and I, us us you know 30, 30 plus year olds at this point um, about getting up after after uh, getting banged around or uh, hard workouts or whatever anymore. We're a little bit past our prime, but and I think that also kind of goes to show you. I mean, even at a place like Penn State, big time Division One, you know, we get questions all the time about you know why isn't this guy doing something? Why isn't that? You know, he was this all world recruit top 50 guy and like exactly like you said it's not that they don't have right. the physical attributes to do it they do it's that mental side it's getting the playbook it's understanding responsibilities because the complexity it just gets ratcheted up like not a magnitude many magnitudes um when you when you take that that ascension into the college ranks how um how would you say your transition has been um, as far as just like the, the social aspect of, of college, the other side away from football and then the balancing act between, you know, academics, football, all that kind of stuff. So it's, it's funny you brought up balance because, you know, we talk about trying to have balance all the time, but really our balance is school and football. That, that's what we balance. And your friends are your teammates. You'll, you have, like, your typical two or three friends outside of football that you have classes with. But, like, the only time you see them is when you're in class. Outside of that, you, your friends are your teammates. 
at first it was really tough for me because I'm an early childhood education major. So every single person in my major, majority of my major is females. So it's hard for me to find like a couple guys to like hang out with, be friends with. But you know, as years go on, you start to find, you take other classes and you find other friends that are males in your major. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So the so the balance the balance is not necessarily easy, but it is simple. It's really it's two good. things, right. really academics and football. Um, and that, you know, I think that really kind of also shows something else that we talked about, especially with NIL and kind of how Mark and I have been pretty on board with it uh, from the from the get go, because it really is a huge time commitment, and it really is a lot of uh, there's a lot of sacrifice that goes along with it. Right. As far as there's a lot of things you can't really do um, outside of football and making sure you're getting your school stuff done. There's just there's just not a lot of time left. Um, and obviously, you got to be sleeping to make sure you're recovering um, from from all your workouts or your games or whatever. And you, you're getting up early and having practices or, um, you know, you're in, in recovery in the recovery room or what have you. Um, there's always something else to do on the list, it seems. But, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, definitely love that. Uh, those are. Um, great to get that insight uh definitely definitely appreciate that for sure 